guys, it's Toya, and thank you for watching Toya JTV. Today, I want to go over seven reasons why your ends are splitting. As we all know, nobody loves to getting their ends trimmed. I mean, I like getting my ends trimmed just because I like a blunt look on my ends. I don't like it to look real um, frazzled or I don't like it to look uneven. I like it very blunt. So, I don't mind getting trimmed a lot, but... None of my clients enjoy getting the trims. So um, the reason why you need to get trims is because, of course, your ends are splitting. So a lot of people have um, started asking me, like, well, what causes the ends to split? So that's why today I wanted to do this quick video to show you a few ways um, or give you a few reasons why your ends are splitting and uh, possibly help you to prolong it. Um, it's really going to be almost impossible to prevent your ends from splitting, but there are a few things that you can do to prolong it so you won't have to get as many trims, okay? So, let's jump right in. The first reason is when you are very um, aggressive with your hair, especially when shampooing. When you're shampooing your hair, you want to always make sure that you do not pull all of your hair up in a ball, but instead you want to... Start at your scalp and work your way down to the ends. You never want to um, pull all of your hair up because that uh, vigorous rubbing can cause split ends, okay? So your hair is more fragile when wet. Always remember that. So you want to be especially careful with your hair when it's wet. The number two reason for split ends is improperly detangling. So anytime you are detangling your hair, you always want to start at the bottom or start at the ends and gently work your way up. So you start at the ends, start combing it through and be sure to use a wide tooth comb um, and gently start um, detangling going all the way up. The reason for that is when you start at the top, once you get to your first tangle, you're going to have a tendency to pull. And the harder you pull, the more that can cause breakage or it can cause the ends to split. So if you start at the bottom and gently work your way up, you won't encounter that problem. The third reason is because your uh, for split ends is because your ends are very dry. So the remedy to that is, of course, to moisturize them. But you don't want to moisturize your hair only when it is um, dry because at that point, you know, it's too late. It's, uh, it's not too late, but you want to prevent it from becoming dry. You don't only want to moisturize your hair when you feel like it's dry. You want to do it on a consistent basis. So I always try to um, do a deep conditioning every single time I shampoo my hair. And I also love to do the mud mask. And when you deep conditioning, one tip I would um, like to give is to make sure you concentrate on the ends. A lot of people concentrate up here when they do a deep conditioning, but don't forget about your ends. Bring that conditioner all the way down. And of course, be sure to use the Bio Jones Intense Moisturizing Treatment for your deep conditioning needs, as well as the pre poo Mud Mask. The pre poo Mud Mask will change your life. I'm telling you, it is one of the best products, one of my favorites. So, um, and if your hair is damaged and in need of reconstructing, then I also have the Creamy Custard Reconstructive Treatment. But you always want to keep your ends moisturized. And when your hair is dry and you just want something to use on a daily basis, you can also use the Bio Jones Satin Moisture Cream. And all it takes is a little bit. You don't want to saturate it. Just take a little bit, put it on your hands, and just uh, pull it, you know, on the ends. And that will keep your hair constantly moisturized instead of you only trying to treat it when it's dry. The next reason for split ends is improper heat use. Okay, so when you are always putting heat on your hair, blow drying, flat iron, curling, all the time, that is causing your hair to dry out, which is um, another reason for split ends. So what you want to do, uh, when I say use heat properly, that means space the, the amount of time you use it. So I recommend only using it once per week or less. So if you shampoo your hair weekly, it's okay to... Um, put heat on your hair at that point, but don't do it. Don't touch it up during the week or anything like that um, or less. So that also, or less means if you are shampooing your hair weekly, you can always do a no heat style, a roller set, rod set, flexi rod, um, updo, ponytail, something that does not require heat. So you can always do a no heat style, but you want to 
space the amount of time you're using the heat. And also when you're using the heat, don't cut the heating tool up too high. That's why I always use the Vital Jones Toy Primo Flat Iron because you can control the temperature on it. It doesn't just have an on and off switch. It goes from 200 and something degrees all the way up to 480. So you can customize the heat based on what your hair needs. Also, you only want to do one to two passes max, okay? You don't want to be going over the same piece of hair 35 times. That is going to inevitably cause heat damage, okay? So, and that will cause also uh, cause split ends. So, we want to make sure we're using heat correctly. When you use it correctly, you won't have any worries to your hair. But when you're not using it right, that's when the trouble can start. Number five reason for split ends is frequent brushing and or combing. A lot of times when you get your hair done, especially when it's all down, we have a tendency to always either run our fingers through it, always combing it, always manipulating it in some type of way. And when you're constantly doing that, um, again, that friction can cause split ends. So when you get your hair done, no matter how good it looks, listen to me, leave it alone, okay? When you leave it alone, you will notice a big difference in your hair. Let me let me give you an example. You ever seen someone with really, really long hair and they, it just seems like they have a ton of hair and you're like, I don't understand how you have so much hair. What, what are you doing? How's your hair growing so fast? What are you doing to your hair? And nine times out of 10, they'll say nothing. They're not being funny. They really don't do anything to their hair. Like once they um, shampoo their hair, dry it, style it, they, they don't touch it. They don't do anything else to it after that. They simply leave it alone. And when you do that, I'm telling you, you will, and it's a bad habit to break because I even have it. A lot of times, I'm, especially when I have my hair down, y'all will always see me in videos doing like this and pulling it back and then pulling it forward over my eye. I'm always doing that. And as a result, the front part of my hair is shorter than the rest because I'm constantly doing that. I'm guilty of it myself. So that is a habit that I am definitely trying to break is that once I do my hair to um, leave it alone or if that's just too hard for me, then I just opt for styles like this where I don't have a reason to touch it, okay? So um, be mindful of that. Wrapping your hair is another way to uh, pro prolong split ends and um, try to prevent them from happening. So wrapping your hair, what that does is it protects your ends from rubbing up against whatever you may lay on uh, when you're just lounging around. Um, it also helps to protect your roots. Now, if you do not like to wrap your hair, a satin pillowcase as well as a bonnet will also help to protect your ends. But those two things only protect your ends. They don't protect your style and well, the bonnet will, but it doesn't protect your roots. So if you're wanting to like me and you're stretching your relaxer and you're wanting to lay your roots down, the only thing that will help with that is tying it down or wrapping it, okay? Also, rolling your hair will help protect your ends or pin curling it. Um, any, any of those things will help protect your ends at night. So you never want to just go to sleep without doing anything to your hair. You want to always wrap it uh, some kind of way in order to protect your ends and that will help them um, to not split as fast. And the last thing, which is probably the most important, is to avoid frequent chemical services. That includes permanent color as well as relaxers, okay? So what happens is if you are getting your uh, chemical services too frequently, then you start at, the, at your root, right? And then as you work your way down, eventually that overprocessed hair is going to end up on the end, okay? As your hair grows out, the hair at the root is going to eventually end up, you know, on the ends because you're going to be getting trims, of course. And as it grows out, um, your overprocessed hair will end up at the ends. And then you'll notice if your hair is overprocessed that your ends are very see-through. Um, they are very... Um, uh, they are very see-through and they are very, they have a lot of frizz on the ends, okay? And that's just a sign that they have been overprocessed if you have chemicals, okay? Um, also, skipping trims will cause that as well. But when you are getting your trims regularly and you're still seeing um, your ends that just don't look quite right, that's a sign of overprocessing. So you always want to make sure when you're getting chemical processes, those things are permanent. So you don't have to overlap. 
because you've already done that to your to your hair you and when you're getting your chemical services and you want to do it again the only thing you'll need to redo is the new growth you don't have to do the hair that's already been processed okay that's what over processing means it means when you are overlapping and you're processing hair that's already been processed and then um when damage starts occurring that's due to over processing okay so you want to always i always recommend uh stretching your relaxers at least until you get two inches of new growth which for most people is about four months I personally stretch mine to six months just because I can still manage my hair at four months. Um, so I just go a little bit longer. It's not a race to see how long you can go because you'll end up transitioning back to natural hair. It's really just about managing your new growth and having enough new growth um, to process that will, where you only have to, you make sure you're not over processing your hair, if that makes sense. The whole goal is to not over process your hair. So you want to grow enough new growth out so that when you process that new growth, you're not getting it onto any hair that's already been processed. And that goes with color as well as relaxed hair. Okay, so those are a few reasons that cause split ends. And I'm also giving you some examples on how to prevent that. Okay, so if you do all of these things, you will notice that you won't need a trim as often and you can retain more length. Okay. You don't want to skip your trims all together. Get them when you need them. But doing these little tips can help you to space out your trims. Instead of getting them every month or every six weeks, you can get them every three or four months. All right. So I hope this video helped you guys. Be sure to continue watching. Subscribe, like the channel, and I will see you all next time. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.